What's going on, family? Cribs here. Happy Saturday, man. It's the weekend. Uh, coming to you today with a review on NBW, which is Nicholas Beardworks. Um, owner is Alex. Um, luxurious men's handmade grooming products is what he is known for. Um, and to be expensive from what everybody says. And I'm here to break it down to where uh, I can explain to you some of the things that uh, uh, are misconceptions. Uh, the owner, I've already told you, is Alex. His website is nicholasbeardworks.com. Um, if you don't mind right now, if you are a subscriber, I thank you very much. I appreciate you coming back and watching and supporting my channel. Um, if you're not and you like, um, if you go watch some of them and you like what I'm talking about, uh, if you like the, the products that I talk about, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, and if you like the content, hit the like up button. Um, and then leave a comment below if you have any questions or uh, just want to have a little bit of a conversation. I always get back to you. Um, or if you have any ideas or any thoughts on the products that I review. Um, mainly on my channel, it's, I'd say, 90% all about beard products and tips and tricks and what I experienced during my bearded journey. Uh, just want to say, what do you think of the hat? Dirty hands, clean money. That's the Troll Grooming Company, or not grooming, the clothing company. Um, love that company. Um, anyways, let's get back to Nicholas Beardworks. They are made in the USA. Um, I have got to test four products, four scent profiles for five days. Um, and I'm going to go over some of those with you. First of all, I want to tell you about Royal Oud. And if you know anything about me and you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm a Oud junkie. I love anything Oud. Um, profile of the Royal Oud. I mean, he has some different products in there and some different uh, ways of making it. He has the Oud Wood. He has his uh, Hairy Vagabond. Uh, just a lot of different things. So there's a lot of options for you. Um, and earlier in my reviewing days, if you go down when Daniel, my son, which I call Dude, uh, was with me. He We did one on Oud Stank, and the first one that I got from Alex was a little too perfumey for me, um, and I did not care for it, so that's when he sent me this Royal Oud, and top-notch, uh, one of my favorites. Um, smoky Oud enriched with sandalwood, amber, saffron, and rose. Um, and I don't like rose, but I tell you what, man, it just melts beautifully with this, uh, the Royal Oud. Um, doesn't really come out and offend me at all, if any. I can't even hardly smell it. Uh, next one, look at these bottles. Hand dipped by Alex himself um, is the Tobacco Vanilla. Amazing. Um, aged Pipe Tobacco, Madagascar Vanilla, Cocoa Dried Fruit. Um, Took me back to my childhood when I would go, uh, my, our family would head over to uh, Pendleton in Eastern Oregon, over to my uncle's house, um, and he would be smoking a pipe tobacco and watching some old 80s wrestling, uh, Portland wrestling, I think it was at that time. Took me back to a memory, and I love that. I love how these scents, um, which they are these essential oils and fragrance oils, can take you back to a place in your childhood or a place in life uh, that you've experienced. Um, good or bad, but mainly good, hopefully. Um, but this one, I walked into work. Uh, this was day, I think, Tuesday that I wore this, or Monday, one of the two. I walk in, and I have a coworker who's about 15 feet away from me. And he says, good Lord, is that your beard? He says it, remind, it reminded him of the same thing when his family would go over to his uncle house because his uncle uh, smoked a pipe tobacco. He said it took him back. So I got to share that. And that's what's great about, I love my products. I love these things you guys are putting out. These scent profiles, that stank that I'm calling about, that's the stank that other people get to experience. So it, it's just a wonderful world out there. Uh, a wonderful world of beard products and community that I love. I won't rant. Uh, next one that I got to try is the, let me do this one. I think it was this, Cuban Tobacco, which was amazing. Um, Cuban tobacco on this one. Amber, spices, cherry, and clove. 
Um, I couldn't find anything to where it said it had aged pipe tobacco or anything in it. Uh, handcrafted, Illinois, out of Illinois. I've been looking for that forever, and it's right there on his label. Absolutely fantastic, wonderful scent profile. Smells like pipe tobacco, uh, or Cuban, a Cuban tobacco. Uh, it was amazing. Different than the, the vanilla, the, the tobacco vanilla, completely different in scent profile, but just so delicious. And I think these tobaccos, uh, the way you guys are doing these, given, given my oud a run for its money of being my favorite scent profile. Not quite yet, but I think it's just pride. Uh, it probably is. I think they're one and one. I can't, I can't decipher which one I like more now. So, and that's to a couple of people that have come out with some really good tobacco stank. Um, next one I tried is Decadence. Amazing scent on this one. Uh, rich oriental leather with intoxic with an intoxicating grip. And you can see this is a one ounce. This is his two ounce bottles. Both come with the pump tops. I'm going to talk about that here in a minute. And then these are his skull bottles. And I'll talk about that more in just a little bit. Um, let me get on my tablet here so I can explain to you. One thing that I did notice is the the website is absolutely wonderful that Alex has, but it's kind of hard to nav hard to navigate through. Um, I think he's going to revamp that really soon. But one thing about Alex, he really does not care about prices. Um, he doesn't really care about promoting anything. He doesn't really care about advertising. What he cares about is the quality that he puts in his products and the pure fact that he just loves what he does. And I respect that 100%. That's why I spend all this money on these products back here is because I love I love this game. I love this community. I love being bearded. I want to do what's best. Um, after five days of using these products, uh, it has changed my mind. It has changed the way I look at beard products and what they can be and what they can do. Um, and that's because of Alex and a few others that have just blown my mind. Um, let me go here to where is it? Beard works. There goes the dogs in the background. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, prices, because it was kind of hard for me to figure out. His one ounce bottle is nineteen dollars, um, and I'll read exactly what he messaged me. Uh, the beard beard oil one ounce bottles nineteen. The special edition one ounce bottles are thirty five. Now the special edition is what he puts in it. Um, the the essential oils and the carrier oils that he has in it. Um, the idea was if somebody wanted to try and don't does not want to spend the seventy to seventy five dollars for a combo. Um, that's what it's about. And his combos, and he's talking about those prices, are these special edition bottles. You just have to decipher which one. I think it's the Oud and the black bottles, are, and the solid bottles are not. But you'll just have to go to his website and find out and dig through like I did. Uh, the Skull, all of them, the two-ounce regulars, which I believe these are the regulars, the solids, if you can call them that because there's nothing regular about them, are $35. So if you break that down per ounce, what is that? Uh, seventeen fifty, seventeen fifty for an ounce of amazing, amazing products, health-wise products, um, and then the limited only as an oil and bomb combo, which would be your special edition clear bottle um, with the more premium, I guess you would say, and I'll get into that here too later about that premium word. Um, is what he's talking about. And man, where was I going to take you with this? I wrote down some prices down here. Uh, and then you get into his bombs. <sighs> Look at that. Look at how healthy and creamy and conditioning that is, along with a hold. He doesn't use any paraffin waxes in this at all. These are all from beekeepers. And the reason it's that color is due to the fact of the enriching goodness that he puts in there for the health-wise. Seed buckthorn oil, I do believe. And that's more expensive. 
All of this stuff is with the seed buckthorn. Oils in it, no paraffin. Um, he will not have anything like he, he, I think he described them as food grade oils, which was grapeseed, safflower, or hemp. None of that will be in this. I want to explain also about that seed buckthorn. Um, he does use castor oil in his because us guys, some of us like our thick oil. Um, and he does use some castor in it, but he uses seed buckthorn. And a, a 12, a gallon of castor oil is $12. The seed buckthorn oil is $150 a gallon. Uh, it's known for its healing purposes. Uh, it's very wonderful and has a wonderful scent profile. Um, and all of his, that's what you'll smell in all of the oils, is a sweet, delicious scent. That's the back note of everything, and that's what it's carried on. It's that sea buckthorn, and it's amazing. Um, well, let me see what else did I need to say. I just want to try to get everything down and it, explain to you. I want to actually talk about these pump tops. Alex and I had a conversation about these. You see the two different types. I think these are more expensive than these, but they, they both serve a great purpose. Um, most of our oils come with these drop tops. Okay. What that does is when you're in the shower, you get out of the shower, you put your oil in, you squeeze it, you pull it out. What you're doing every time you open up that bottle is you're allowing air and humidity into your products, which breaks them down which doesn't make them last longer, as long. With these, it's sealed up completely, nothing's getting inside, and all you do is pump it. Let me show you some of this oil. Look at the color of that. Look at the color of that oil. It's beautiful, so enriching. You can just feel it. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys. <sighs> So amazing. Another thing I have noticed in the, the testing of these products is over the five days that I've used them, my shedding of my longer hairs uh, when I groom and I comb have gone down, I'll bet you, about 50%. And that's truth. Uh, the little hairs when you comb through, the little itty bitty tidbit ones that aren't going to make it anyways, they're, they're there as well. But my longer hairs, they just stay because they're healthy. They want to stay home. Um, the feel and beard was amazing. Uh, this balm, when you use it, it's just so great. It, it's a good hold. Um, man, it's so good. Um, like I say, it's from a beekeepers. Uh, it's not paraffin. Uh, no wax. It's just beeswax from beekeeper. Beekeepers is where he gets that. And that's where the color comes from as well. Um, he also has a liquid butter that is whipped, which I was blessed to get. And it comes with a pop top as well. So you can see that goodness inside there. Um, comes out wonderful in these pop uh, dropper or these pump tops. Um, it's $25 for a two ounce. He also has a beard butter, which to me, the consistency, look how thick that is. You can just, it's more like a bomb at first. Uh, it's real dense. But really, really rich. Ah, let me see what he has in here. Some of these ingredients. Cocoa butter. Uh, cocoa butter. Mango butter. Jojoba oil. Argan oil. Lanolin. Sea buckthorn oil. Rosehip oil. Pumpkin seed oil. Fractionated coconut oil. Wheat germ oil. Castor oil. Almond oil. Essential oils. Vitamin E. And natural caffeine. That's in his butter. Let's read is in his. I don't think it's in here. I don't have a description of what's in the whipped. But let's go to mm -hmm. his oils. Oh my gosh. I can just read you one off here. Ingredients. Jojoba oil. Argan oil. Sea buckthorn oil. Rosehip oil. Pumpkin seed oil. Wheat germ oil, avocado oil, fractionated coconut oil, apricot kernel oil, almond oil, castor oil, essential oils, and uh, tocopherol, 
tocopherol. Is that how you say that? Tocopherol? I'm not sure what that is. Let's go here. Just try to give you a breakdown. Oh, I don't want to watch that. So I have basically, I don't want to watch a video. Now I'm on watching somebody here. <laughs> Matt. Matt popped up. I can't find it on here. This stupid tablet. I keep complaining about it every time. <laughs> uh, one thing I want to talk about on here is uh, the prices of these oils. If you've been sleeping on Nicholas Beerworks because of the prices and you, you, there's no promotion and really no advertising except word of mouth or if you get on his website, um, it's amazing. Um, and if you really break down what's in it if you go on and do the research and that's what it's all about as a reviewer that I want to do I want to do research I, I'm growing as a reviewer and I want to grow by the research and the knowledge that I can bring you because if I'm telling you that something is good and you're gonna go out and purchase this I want to be an influence of not to when you get it like man guy this guy doesn't know what he's talking about and sometimes I don't I'm just telling you that the scents are wonderful and that I've enjoyed it and I've loved the experience with the owner and I've loved the experience with the groups that they're in. Um, I want to know, and especially something like this, I want to represent these companies and these people that are putting their sweat and, and tears and their time into this. Um, I want to represent well, the best that I can. And I owe that to you. And I owe that to myself. Um, let's go oils. See if I was correct in that. Uh, argan oil, avocado, wheat germ, sweet almond oil, pumpkin seed oil, jojoba oil, rice bean, oh, rice bran oil, sweet almond oil. And you can go through here and probably go through each one of them. That's why the, the website is so iffy to me. I can't tell. But I'm just going to explain. He has the sea buckthorn that's in it, rose hip, botanical infusions on some of them, and essential oils. Um, really cool and, it, and they all come in these sweet old grocery bags you, you, you know the old uh, what would you call them mercantile bags back in the day the wagons and the horses before motorized and I love that um, and I think that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about except the premium uh, the premium oils uh, the low, I don't know what you would call them. I'm calling this company, and I don't know if it's been used before, but how I look at it, I'm looking at it as a gourmet oil. Um, there are the places for the other oils, and I love them all. Um, I have I have love for it. Um, but I also, I'm going to, and I mean no offense to anybody. I'm not saying your stuff isn't good or there isn't a place for it. But when somebody does something like this or these companies that really spend the, the more money on these oils instead of just the, the cheaper and expensive to put some stuff out, they deserve the recognition. I look at most of them um, is McDonald's. There's a place for McDonald's. I love my McDonald's Big Macs and my French fries. They're quick. I can go to the drive-thru. I don't have to go in anywhere. Um, I know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get that Big Mac. I'm going to get that French fry and that Coke. That's a combo. Uh, and I love it. And it's filling. It's cheap. It's inexpensive, I should say. Um, but then there's that other time, and I'm going to paint a picture for you, where you, you purchased a cow at an auction. Let's say it's Wagyu. Wagyu beef. You give it to somebody on a lush green farm that feeds them nothing but the best vitamins and minerals. Um, on the day of slaughter, uh, it's the perfect day. It's the perfect time of day when everything is just where it needs to be. And then you process the meat. You take some of that sirloin from that beef you bought, that Wagyu. You make it into a hamburger patty. You make a hamburger out of it. You go pick some red onions out of your garden that you, you spent labor of love and time on growing and making sure that the bugs aren't in it. You deep fry them. You cut them up and you deep fry You cut them with a knife and you deep fry them in some really good, uh, healthy oil. They're crispy and they're delicious and they're a side. And you use not ketchup and mustard, but a great sauce that is created for the hamburger uh, with some Tillamook uh 
pepper jack cheese or blue cheese crumbles that were handmade with a fresh tomato and a walla walla green onion, a walla walla sweet green onion, um, and then you eat it. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, gourmet. A little bit more labor of love. Um, you take your wife out to a dinner. Uh, you know you're going to spend 200 to $300 on a really good dinner with a good bottle of wine or some really good craft beer that's handmade. That's what I'm talking about. That's my representation of Nicholas Beard Works. There's a place for the McDonald's and the quick and easy when you're getting ready off of the day of work and you come home or you're getting ready for a day. Then there's time that you take your wife out to dinner. I hope I did a good job explaining that. That's what it is to me, and that's what the experience is to me. So, guys, as always... I love you. Thanks for hanging out. Go to NicholasBeardWorks.com and check out his website. And if you've been sleeping on because of the price, you deserve, if you can afford it, just go get it. Get past that price mark because it's really not that difference. And experience how this stuff is made, how it feels in your beard, and these wonderful scent profiles that are so intoxicating and subtle but strong and last all day. That's my review. That's Swag's review for my family. Uh, truth, honesty, and transparency. Anyways, I love you. Go tell somebody you love them. Enjoy this wonderful weekend. Fall is here. Guys, Cribs is out.